Hey, I'm Vivian, welcome to my channel. I'm going to review and explain about this um, table saw. It is the only table saw I have ever used, so I can't tell you if it's better than another table saw or what was good or bad, except for a few obvious things. And I didn't read the manual. My husband didn't read the manual. And I've been using this a lot more than him, and I've been using it for uh, kind of in a heavy-duty um, capacity. I've been ripping down two by fours into two uh, into uh, two by twos. So um, today I turned it on its side. There's another video, and I've been just cleaning it, and all I mean, it was just loaded. The, the there was sawdust everywhere packed into uh, nooks and crannies every little space that were outside um, there's a I'll show that but there's a saw storage uh, another blade storage on the side and there's uh, grooves on the back you know just behind the blades and it was literally compacted with sawdust so I um, my husband changed out the blade and I was able to with with this plate removed and the saw blade removed, I was able to go uh, take a paintbrush that I use for brushing sawdust off. I don't know where, where it's at right now. <laughs> and uh, just get in there and clean it out. It, it was really, really bad. I don't know if you can make it out, but this, all this stuff right here, fell, fell out from inside that thing along with um, some that I vacuumed out when I, I was, I just stuck the shop vac hose up into the top. And when I realized, oh my gosh, there's so much in there, so much in there, I was able to put my hand in there and pull stuff down. Um, it's unplugged. <laughs> but, and I was able to look through the crevice and, and see that it was still loaded and there was something big in there. This was inside there. Yes, my husband, he uh, rigged up um, feeders for our goats and he used, he cut up a couple of uh, one gallon buckets, plastic buckets, and the way he had to cut it, I guess he used a table saw and didn't realize he lost a chunk of it during that time. He was under a time crunch. It happens. It's been there for year before last. <laughs> maybe the year before that. So at least over, over a year. And uh, I had, I pulled this through, you know, got it out and then it's like all this stuff started coming out. It was just packed. Hopefully now the, the sawdust issue with this machine is um, reduced. It's, it's still, uh, I saw a lot of the comments that it was a problem for a lot of people that it, um, it sprayed up. I saw a link the video where someone made, um, oh, I forgot what he called it, where he made a wooden cover and the, so it didn't have all this, so it didn't blow all that sawdust back up. I am playing around with the design to use for all of the, my power tools that does, that's uh, wood, woodworking tools to um, at least limit all the sawdust uh, debris corral it better but anyway i'm going to stay focused on the this table saw uh now i've noticed this area and i didn't know what it went to what it was used for but that's where the um the guide and this uh, rip fence goes and this normally stays on the machine it's very easy to do, and most of the time, the way I use it, ripping down these uh, two by twos, is to use a two by four, and I position it. Just make sure it's evenly on there. Yeah, right at. See, and so when I rip it, I get a perfect square on that, and then I'll do it on that side, and I'm normally left with a little furring strip. That's another video. I think this is <coughs> used for angle um, push rod. And you can 
excuse me, I just inhaled a lot of sawdust. <laughs> a lot today. So, um, you can adjust the angle and then you're able to I need a cameraman or woman or kid. That's more likely to happen in my life. Get volunteer one of my grandkids to help me. So you're able to lock that down and you can, I don't like that. Would, I would not do it this way with uh, a two by four, okay? <laughs> I have miter saws for that, but um, I, I don't use this. So before I get into what I do use, that's not part of this um, gadget. Since it's got a nice little place to store it, I'm gonna keep it there. I don't know if you noticed that um, it's missing the cover, the guide, the, um... oh man. I do know the names of these things. When someone else says it, I know exactly what it is. But this goes on here. And I've had some issues with it. It slides in and it covers and even has a light. But I've actually had more problems using, having that on there than doing without, even though I'm, I'm kind of a chicken, a little scaredy cat with this stuff. Um, I mean, I tend to be accident prone, so I do use whatever safety uh, devices and check this out. There's this bar has been sitting over here and I've been asking my husband this past week, what's it, what is it to? I've been trying to look online. I couldn't find a manual for this online either. I was having a hard time with that. Um, so when I turned this thing on its side th this morning, there it was a place to screw this thing into. And this, that was the biggest thing because I would hook my foot down, um, there's a bar right here. Let me move the camera. And I would put my foot over there to hold this down so it didn't fall backwards. Um, Cause it, that's what, now with that on there, it's not coming, I mean, I can, I'm pushing down on this thing and it, it is not coming back. It is not leaning back. That's gonna save me so much headache. I don't have to worry about where, I, configuring myself to do that and I can push um, I can now push a whole uh, eight foot long board and the way I had to leverage it before it just it, it was just the logistics of doing that and getting a sawhorse over here to you know because I had to keep my foot on this to keep it from getting tilted back as I fed the uh, table saw so that that is uh it came with it uh we bought this brand new uh, my husband used it uh i i didn't touch i didn't do anything with it for years uh and then um when i was doing the kitchen remodel at our other place i used the heck out of this and then now that i'm doing uh, this uh modular chicken coop stuff i've really had to you know learn what's what, uh, get the best use out of it. And it was just, the sawdust issue was something that was really big and it, it was blowing sawdust out. I mean, fine dust was coming out all over the place because it was literally packed. Even though I stuck, I put a stick up there <laughs> and try to get things out and I thought I got it all out. Uh, I didn't realize that there was that thing in there. So check your, check your equipment. Uh, check your tools and here's the things I do use I like I've seen these made um, and maybe one day I'll get to that point where I could make my own but I love Craig I love this uh, I love all the, the this stuff and I wish I could afford all of it but it goes into that guide Okay, I didn't say any cuss words. I don't, I don't cuss. If you hear me cuss, it's bad. It's, it's really deserving. 
but uh, it's got that little thing and it will just keep turning so it's got a flat washer uh, to a washer that's not a total circle it's the two sides of the circle is are straight and that's that's got to fed that or otherwise it'll come right up and tightening it and then that way I I don't have to worry about this pressure I probably can put that a little bit tighter I, I want to make another um, watching some videos some of the rip fences uh, pretty cool with their own little fingers to keep the feed going in that direction and I may do that for the routing table but I like this um, rip fence it's easy to deal with and the Craig push stick it has its own little you can use that lock it in doesn't move. Uh, you see where it, uh, this is why I have to stop myself like three, four o'clock, no, no power tools. I do one thing, it's not, I know that, you know, if I'm using a thin piece of plywood or a really thin board or something, that's why it's so short. I would like to make my own little shuttle or push stick that's going to have a little bit more because I'm, I'm working mainly with these um, two by fours and two by twos and the thin furring strips. This is what I'm talking to about when I'm referring to the furring sticks uh, strips. Uh, this is what's left over when you cut a two by two on one side and a two by two on the other side, you're left with this. And that would work. See, that would work. This doesn't. And how I did that damage, I I was tired and I uh, I I'd already um, turned it off, and the blade was still going, and I kind of just woke me up. I'm not recommending you do that. In fact, I'm recommending you don't. I do like that this. It's it's unplugged. That's on, and with my knee, I can push it down. I, I see that's a feature on all of them. We'll reset. Uh, I don't know what, I think this goes to locking it down when it's um, closed up, because this collapse, it's got wheels, so you can roll it out and uh, put it into a different area. But this is where it normally stays. I've got that over there, because like I said, it was blowing sawdust all over the place. I cleaned up that that side and maybe now that this has been properly cleaned and the little system I'm, I'm going to make with it that'll be another video to collect the sawdust that's coming out I'm excited about that I'm thrilled I think it's a good idea I hope it works but I'll, I'll, sh I'll put that in another video and we changed the blade out my husband changed the blade out for me to a multi-purpose one that came with this uh, the other one came with the, I think it's very similar to this, um, 36 tooth, um, general perp, no, excuse me. Where is that thing? Oh, here it is. One of these. The way the, the tooth is. Very similar. That, that was on there. Been on there for years and years. It's the, never been changed. So we changed it out to that multi-purpose blade. Uh, these came with the miter saw. So now we've put something like this on there. Actually, no, it doesn't look like that at all. But uh, it says general purpose. So I thought I'd give that a try. These are also 10 inch saw blades that we got with our chop saw. I had no idea. You would think. So all the different options here. Um, this one in particular. I've been, I'm doing a lot of um, plywood and, and the general blades just chewing it up. 
I wonder if this will fit into our skill saw. I don't know what size that blade is. It's probably a 10 inch. So I'm going to change that blade. <laughs> so I'm learning. I am, I am, I've watched videos. I try to learn. Um, but there's, there's gaps. There's definitely gaps in my knowledge. I had, n I had no idea, uh, what to deal, you know, what to look for, but all these blades came. I mean, this is part of why we got a good deal on this, um, on that. And I think that's mine. I think both of the uh, miter saws are ones I wanted to buy. My husband's like, yeah, you can do everything with the table. I was like, um, oh, with the hand saw, not the hand saw, you know, the, um, regular, um, circular saw. He called it a skill saw, but I was like, I didn't have the skills for that. I needed... I felt more comfortable with something I could just bring down. It was a little bit more safety-wise. I didn't have to lift it. I didn't have to hold it while cutting it. So, blades makes a difference, right? And, so we put that on there. It's never been used. I will use it on some scrap lumber before I... Um, just to see how that goes, but it's been literally sitting there rusting. The back side's not rusted, this side's rusted. This is what was facing out. Marathon, it's going the right way, tenant. So, I hope this helps. If you've got the same model, Hitachi C10FR, uh, I guess the, the no, no guessing to it. The 10 is for the 10 inch saw blade, um, referring to the 10 inch um, size of the saw blades. And the C and the FR, I have no idea. <laughs> I think there was a C10L model. I don't know um, by Hitachi also that came up in my search. So I hope this helps you. I still probably have gaps. I like this table saw. Be because it's what I'm used to. I've not used another one, like I said at the beginning. So I don't intend on buying another table saw. What I really wanted to do is buy a sawmill. Because <laughs> we got a lot of lumber here that's just uh, going to waste. But um, that's another video. <laughs> Everything's another video. Thanks for joining me. If I miss something, please point it out. Uh, I am learning and I am teachable. Thank you for joining me. Be a blessing and be blessed.